Well, let's try that again. Sorry about the weird sound. I don't, it's, all I can do is restart because the um, everything looks fine. So anyway, there we go. <laughs> so if some people join me back again, that would be great. If not, I'll just do this anyway. So I'm just cutting this into some smaller pieces. This will help me because this, this technique that I'm about to show you just does take up a fair bit of room. And um, doing it in a, on a smaller scale is going to be rather fabulous actually. So I think that's enough paper for now. Oh, I'm scared to move my guillotine because that's when the sound went funny last time. Okay, back and better than ever. Thank <laughs> Guillotines, just make sure the dogs don't touch it. Okay. If I cut my own foot on it, fair enough. But if the dogs, something happened with my little dogs. Ah, no, the panic would be real. Right. So what I'm going to do now is pop that over there for a start. And uh, let's do a little journal. Oh, I'm too scared to get up in case the sound goes crazy. But you might remember little journal. Oh, I think I can reach one. Oh, this one is with the face charts. And it's this same technique. Oh, that's cool. Oh, the camera's gone crazy. <laughs> Everything. Woo! Uh, Oh, isn't she cool? Uh, but this is a technique I'm just going to show you for making a little journal without having to use uh, washi tape. Sorry, without having to use a needle. If you've got a phobia of needles, here we go. So I need eight pieces. And then I'm going to connect them. So I've just, whatever the papers are, I can pick different ones. I'll have that one there. Oh, I think I'd like this one. Uh, and even because of the way that we're going to be doing this, the one that ends up being the cover, you don't have to know in advance. It'll be okay. But I'll show, I'll unfold this big one. Whee! So that's the cover there. But it just in this particular one. Oops, I moved everything around. So with that in mind, you might when you're organizing things, you might want something that's you want as the front cover more than another. So that's that'll be fine. And I can't even remember which one was the inside back cover. Sorry, because like you can just keep folding things around. So she was the back cover, uh, same side. There, oh, that's fine, all good. Fabulousness. Now the next thing I want to do is get them all lined up so that uh, I can put some tape. I'm gonna tape them together. And I'm just going to line up my papers. So the straighter you've got them, uh, the better, but it, like it's not an exacting science. And I've got a little tiny gap in between each one going in each direction. So from each side, in the middle. So that one's a little bit wider than the others. It, it is better if the papers are all the same size as each other, but anyway, we'll, I'll show you. Because I've got this little gap in between them, it'll be fine. And if they're the straighter they are, the better. But anyway, we've got 
our little collage papers all oh they look so cute like that and now I want to stick them all together so I could just use plain tape but I think should we just go full ham and should we just go full bright colors um, so I could use a plain tape of some description and I could use a thinner one of my washies so I've got this one here and this one here, that one's going to be too thin. That's one of my originals with the eyes. This could be fun with the eyes in between everything, but they'll be folded in half. So if there's a, a design on it, it's going to disappear a little bit. But this one's thin, it's brightly coloured. It's sort of in the same ballpark. And I could tape it on the inside and not have any tape on the outside. But I think it looks better when it's got tape both sides actually so here we go oops that one has just caught there just pull that up like so and I'm going to just pop the tape down just over the middle BAM that one moved a little bit it's just trying to keep them parallel to each other just pop that bit of tape there. Let's bring it over the edge. Bam. I could use a different tape coming down. I think I'll use this. I just want to make each, sure I catch each side. Oh, I've gone a bit skew if on that one. So I, because this is washi tape, I can lift it up and realign it if it doesn't tear the paper but now this paper here has gone a bit wonky so let's realign oh the lawn I was going I think those people must mow their lawn every second day Righty o then. Now let's flip this. Let's lay down, flip it and reverse it. Oh, that was the message I wrote to you last time. A bit of Missy Elliot there for you. Let me work it. Let me lay it down, flip it and reverse it. Okay. Now we want to create a little cut in this. So I'm going to show you on the big one. From there to there, I need to open that out so I can turn this into a book. So we get our snizzers. Mm, scalpel would be better, but come on, love, get out your scalpel. You, you can do it. And look, I've got a little. Where's my little? doodly doo doo here he is a little cutting board and I just want to slit from here to here oh that's not going to do much that's a filing a nail file <laughs> but I do have a turquoise just so you know I'm not completely crazy So this could be any size. I did a journal like this with my nephews once and we used the front of cereal packets, like cereal boxes, and we made a great big one like that. And then we're going to fold it like this, pop these edges out and turn it into a little book. Now here's where, so that one was a bit skew if, so it's, I can fix that up. So I can change which is the front journal cover. And I can tidy things up a little bit. I could even add more tape elsewhere. I 
once I've decided on it and got everything the way I want it, I might have that one as the cover. So what's going on in here? Why is that going all skew if like that? Which one is it? Just sort of wiggle things around until you're comfy with everything. What you can also do, I might just quickly do it, is we can also add a little bit of washi on the other edges too, just so it's all framed in. Anyway, that's just another little something to do. Imagine you could use all your Christmas cards, create a little journal out of them too, add some collage paper in there. And then use that as a background that's already starting to happen. Nifty, right? Crafty. Picture is the dark in the shadow. Um, picture is dark in the shadow. Once I'm rolling, there's very little I can do, unfortunately. So if it's bad, I'll just have to give up for the day, I think. I don't think I've got the uh, mental capacity to um, um, wrangle the technology. It's hard enough wrangling the creativity. <laughs> let alone dealing with the sound and this and that, which is just totally out of my control. That's my just biggest dread, something going wrong as I'm filming because there's just nothing I can do. Even if I had people here, I don't know what they could do because it's so often it's the stream after the event, like as it's leaving the station um, and heading off into, and then is it a YouTube thing? Is it, what is it? I don't know. I think I've just lost my will to do anything. I'm just going, I'll just see if it returns. So I'm just popping a little bit of uh, this, um, over the top and just let me know should I continue or okay so it looks good to some people everything is good all good all good okay right okay Oh, this will be interesting. Can I create something when I feel very... <laughs> um, do you know when all the inspiration just leaves your body? Do you know what I mean? It doesn't happen very often. It does if I've had a technical issue on, uh, on here because it's not just this particular issue. It's all of the, like the emotion I get back is all of the uh, issues that have ever happened just attack me all at once and just make me despair a little bit. Because like I said, it's hard enough. <laughs> Wrong colour. It's hard enough, seriously, doing this. Flying without a trapeze. Is that going to be the right colour? No. Nope. Um, yeah, without having to wrangle all this stuff to the ground. This is the one. The technical stuff, like, you know. Some people do have a big team of people and, you know, you can just... Or I could film and... and uh, um, you know, edit, have things edited and all of that. Maybe have an editor, wouldn't that be nice? But ugh, I don't like just creating, filming myself creating things and then 
editing and putting up just isn't, um, it's just not rewarding for me. Like, I don't need to do it, so I just wouldn't do it. Whereas I do this because it's fun, because of you guys, but then when the technology fails, oh, it just does throw me a little bit. Let's see if I can... <laughs> Get back. So I'm using a little bit of layer cake and I've picked up the layer cake um, because I was looking for a colour that would be would work with what the collage pieces already have a little bit. But also uh, because I know it's I trust it and it's going to be easy for me to work with and that feels good. <laughs> Gosh, now everything's annoying me. It's not your fault, collage, sorry. I think that might rip the paper. Oh, that was a miracle. Uh, I've decided I don't want that on there. If that had, been, had wet um, uh, matte medium under it, I think it would have ripped it off. I might rip this little bit of collage a little bit. Oh, no, we're lucky. It was just dry enough that um, that'll be okay. And I'm going to use this brush. And... Ask me a question. Oh, it's acrylic paint and I think I've got, um, because it's waterproof, I think it is the tattoo ink is the hot pink. So this is the um, laughing lemon in the background and uh, mixing that in with the neon of the tattoo ink. This is just the best. It is just the best. Oh, okay, now this, oh, I'm feeling like myself again now. Yes, ask me another question. Get me my brain not panicking about uh, my lack of expertise with the technical elements of the world and not wanting to have to learn. <laughs> I don't, I really don't. so funny my mum wanted me to teach her a little bit of how to uh, do a bit of social media and do an Instagram post and uh, just a few little things oh my gosh it's just so it's so complex it's just everything's so complex we get so used to it but when things go a little bit wrong, oh my gosh. Well, me anyway. I'm just talking about myself. Everyone else might be perfectly fine. <laughs> hey, Zozzy! Zozzy! Oh, 
Zozzy! So this is dry enough now for me to start painting on. So rather than having this purple top, I'm going to give her a little hot pink number. And a little bow of some description. She's got that one big, I can't take that eye off. That, that eye has to stay there. Zozzy! Zorro! Excuse me. Zozzy! Zozzy! Oi! Mate! Cobber! Zozzy! Come here! <laughs> I think she needs to smile. Smile at me, lady. Okay, let's give her a little smile. Yes, yeah, so we've got acrylic in the background. I've got this all happening here and then this one over here. This is her body, part of her body. And I'm using lay cake. Oh, and I might, should I try and make that her arm now? I think I'll just, let's just do that. Okay. Mm. And that's her little... She's in the background saying, yes, love, go for it, spin, dance. I remember when I used to do that. I just have to drink a bunch of water because my nose has gone itchy. Oh, sorry, I feel like it was the loudest drinking of water on the planet. Okay. Okay, the paints, these are layer cake. <clears throat> so this is a special type of watercolour. I just have to go and tell Zorro. I just have to give him eye contact. Hang on a sec. Just one sec. Just one sec. Zorro, hi. I can see you. Come on, inside. Good boy. Oh, what a good boy. Come on. Come on. Come here, Bala. all dark outside. I think it might rain. That would be pretty cool. Oh no. Poppy's taken off now. But look. Zozzy! This is the one that make, is making the noise. Hey? Got little prickles in your fur. Look at this little guy. Oh, you're a good boy, aren't you? <laughs> oh, you're such a good boy. Do you want to sit here with me? You can. Yes, so what I was saying is layer cake is a water media. That's this here. And what I was wanting to create was I love pan watercolour. Even with my tube watercolours, the tubes are great because you can make lots of different things with them. But I don't like using it from the tube. It's a hassle opening it up every time you want to use it. So making the pans, so it's got the pans, but it, gouache is awful getting it out of the tubes all the time. So I wanted the opacity of gouache, da da, da. and then with layer cake, it layers like acrylic, um, but it still stays water soluble. Oh, you are the cutest little dog. I'm sorry, I'm just giving Sozzy some scratches. And... Uh, okay mate and sorry completely discombobulated um, yeah it's just you activate it a bit more and it becomes more and more opaque or you can just have it with water just and it's more like a watercolor or just add water to it like a watercolor but it's got its own thing the thing I love about it the most is I does what exactly what you think it's going to do. So when in this state where I'm feeling a bit um, you know, like freaked out <laughs> by technology, 
and uh, it's making me feel alone in the world. Uh, I'm like, what am I doing? Um, having a major crisis, an existential crisis. If I pick up layer cake, oh, this is also one's path. It's going to do exactly what I think it's going to do. So it just, I just, it makes me feel happy in the world. <laughs> Sometimes I want to go on a journey, on an adventure, and I don't want, I want something that will surprise me. And that I would pick watercolour uh, and have a little adventure, a watercolour adventure, because that always, you know, that's just a, a freewheeling type of art supply. But layer cake can be freewheeling, it can do the watercolour journey too, but it also just is very just does what you think it's going to do so there's no learning curve you just bam into it and enough can't, can't I can't say enough for an art supply that is that reliable and best friend like I just can't, I can't say enough well I actually did say quite a lot so I'm mixing the colours in the pans. I'm doing all the naughty things, but the, the, it doesn't mind it. It's fine. It'll survive. You just lift it off with a wet paintbrush. So I'm going to make her hands a bit oversized. Oh, I made her colour a little bit muddy. Mind you, that kind of matches. Look at this. I've got my little giant. Like a little giant. Oh, sorry about the microphone. I probably made it go all crazy again. <laughs> um, so I've got her over here. So th that's layer cake. That's this. And there's uh, eight, seven or eight different pans. So these are all little movable pans, each one of these. And then it's also in this format as well, in the colour wheel. There's 13 different colour wheels as well. And there's a little travel set. So there's different versions of layer cake. And even the marzipan twists, I was trying to put it in a crayon form and that's how we got the marzipan twists. But it's completely different, like you can't, um, I was trying, yeah, wanting to make a crayon version, a, like a thing you can pick up and create with. And that's where the marzipan twists came from. Um, so they really aren't, uh, but these are the layer cake colours, uh, as you may have realised. And that's how these came about. That's why they're so soft and smudgy, but they've got a different formula because they have to, because they have to be more solid and not just kind of bend over and completely disintegrate <laughs> when you go to use them. But have I ever told you that before? I might not have told you that before. But yes, I'm always thinking of different things. Of course, Ozzy went straight out and barked. I've probably taught him that I'll go and pick him up if he's naughty enough. So she's sort of looking back over her shoulder here. I need to, I think we'll leave this orange, but I, I think I need to fill this in a little bit, don't you think? So I'm going to use this, oh, I use this brush. Um, I might have to text Angus to come and help me with Zozzy. And I might use this watercolour here because it's got a bit of glimmer in it. Well, a lot of glimmer. It's got a purple base, it's got a bit of a pink glimmer. This is the Whimsical Watercolours. I'm just, I just want to fill in this a little. So that her hair is different to out here. But I don't want to cover the, that writing up too much. So this sets from my collaboration with uh, 
creative expressions. I have to go and grab Zozzy, sorry. got an outside part of the studio and an inside part and they can stand out at the um and see to the outside so i don't know what he was barking at but um I, i'm i'm not in the mood to listen to a fly he'll have to come and sit in here and trot around whoops i'll let that dry i'm not this is not uh, I don't like that at the moment, but I might like it eventually. And rather than this like this, this is tattoo ink. So I'm using this to stain the collage, but I'll still have the pattern through there. It's so that she stands out. I'm just trying to get her to stand out. So I'm just putting some of this yellow ink over this. If I use the layer cake, it's got opacity and then I'll lose this uh, background, which I'll try this first. And then if I still want to lose the details, I can still do that. But if I had her ball gown here, oops, that bit of washi's not behaving itself. So I should just do that. So now she's sort of standing out from her background. This one might need to be a bit more orange, but we'll, let, we'll start with the yellow. And I'm just staining it. Just to say this is at the front and this is at the back. And then I can start to uh, factor in a few other little... So maybe she's wearing white. This is a brush with fame marker, an acrylic uh, no shake marker with the brush tip. And this is my trashed, I've got a trashed one and my good one because it comes in a set of two. So you can have a trashed one and a pristine one. And then the trashed one can do things like this and uh, I don't have to worry about it. Like I'm dragging it through, not quite dry acrylic. Okay, so we'll leave her with those lines. It looks like she's walking. And then I can bring a little bit more of this over. So you can use the watercolours um, completely in between or with or on top of or under the layer cake everything of mine the whole idea is that it's um versatile i was going to say mix and match mixy matchy now where is that ltq did i put her back over there or did i put that over there because I don't have a memory of putting it away up there. And I can't see it. So the LTQ is a gold, beautiful gold pen. And I can't, oh, there it is, right in front of me. If it was a snake, it would have bitten me. Right. So let's give her, we've got these eyelashes here. This is all a bit of fun. This is a waterproof pen. And it's just a wonderful thing. Just bring that eye over just a, a fraction. So this is collage from one thing. Then I pop down that um, washi piece eye for this other thing. So we've got a bit of a surrealistic thing happening here.
and this will go over the top of everything, especially because I've got the washi tape, these, uh, sorry, the matte medium over everything. I'm just going to put these away. Oh, Yvonne says she loves being a tavern poet. She loves all the supplies. Oh, thanks, Yvonne. I love everything. I love my tavern peeps. Yes. You're all very patient and lovely. What a strange uh, little lady, but I like her a lot. Okay, now, because we've got this giant eye... I just need to some I just amalgamate that I'll give her a little bit of a neck. We'll give her a little bit of an ear and we'll just pretend that it's that's completely uh, normal and we might even have a little bit of that happening there and oops. This can cope. Uh, the other good one is the brush with fame in the black. This is even finer, which is going to be good for these little details that I'm working on. I can make this eye just a little bit bigger and uh, just to, I don't know, just because. I've got her little top on. And this is her shoulder coming into her ear. And we'll flick her little fingers out. Her hands are a little bit big, but that's cool. She's going to have some little jewelries on as well. Flick that little hand out, and then we'll make this a little loose bow in the background. And I can even add a little bit of... And then I could do what I did earlier with this and stain the outer parts, the parts that aren't quite... I'm doing that instead of putting my brush into the ink and rather than spraying it. I'm just going to add a bit of a pink there as well um, just to get this same sort of colour range. Just to say this is the background and that's the foreground. So I can just change things up a little. I'm just going to add some of this neon onto her cheeks. <laughs> and I might even add a little bit of this orange that I've made over here. So that we've got... I don't know what's going on here. There's... Who knows? It's surrealistic. It's surreal. And then I quite like the blue because that's helping her go into the background. And in fact... I really should have this coming over the front of that one. So, and I'll cut all her little extra bits off. But it'd be nice if that went in front. Okay. Maybe actually her skirt will come right over like that. I could even, because this is the washi, I could even rip this off. Sorry, I've got layers. Just to get this skirt to sweep back a little. Um, I could get really precise about it. I could even carefully come in with this. I just don't want to cut all the way through. I just want to cut just this little layer of washi. Well, I think I meant managed to cut all the way through the paper. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe I had some, a little bit of collage there. I don't know. But I think I can just scratch that off. And if I can't, I could just stain it. Anyway. Hmm, lift it off the other bit. I wonder why. 
and this can make quite a nice neat little impression. <gasps> I'm glad I persevered and didn't go off in a sulk. You know, nothing to do with you by the way, just it's purely the technology stuff. <gasps> When it doesn't work properly, I f it does decimate me a little bit. And uh, I feel like I've let everyone down. And, duh, 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 duh. and it just takes me a minute to just pull myself together again. But then I do. So do you think, I think I should, I might cut that off a bit as well. Now that I'm like it. Oh, Shannon, that's just the best thing you could say. Um, fantastic, you're feeling inspired to just give things a go. <laughs> well, if nothing else, that is just the best because um, that's how I uh, have fun during these, you know. I've um, so often I come and do, I, I might be down in my studio and I. I, I turn my, the camera on and just do, right, like, not so much during art event because it's a special time of year, but just randomly when I'm, because it's just, it's fun to do something creative and um, I'm glad you're feeling, feeling the vibes. We love it. Yes, we do. So I could, I can't do that to this collage that's matte medium down. I can just do this with the washi. Uh, so I've just shaped that a little bit and some of it I can't pull off, but that's totally fine. So I, I think we kind of get like, I don't know what this is all about because it's just strange. But you know, oh, this icing sushi roll uh, palette is divine. So this is freshwater eel. Dipping sauce, wasabi seaweed, sea urchin, sake, dark rum, inari sushi. So the whole palette it, like that is inari sushi. But that colour is inari and that is sushi. Dipping sauce, wasabi, seaweed, tempura veggies. But together is tempura veggies. And I've just made myself hungry. Mm. <laughs> I'm just mixing up to those two there because... Let's give her a little bit of momentum. Put that guy in behind there. And we'll give her a little shoulder like she's actually wearing something, not just in her ghostly nude. And she's just, you know, I remember my first beer, that's what she's saying. <laughs> Uh, and her other arm is behind her body somewhere at this point in time. She's even got polka dotted hair. She's so happy her hair has grown polka dots. Well, oblongs, what would you call this shape? Some little doblins. There was a young lady. Well, my friends, we got there. I, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this means. Doesn't have to mean anything. It's just playing around, isn't it? And doing a little bit of art. Actually, before we go, I will just, just move her out of the way. And this little book that I made, we could map medium it. So that's the... Um, Maybe I'll make that the front cover. No, make that one. Because what I could do, I've got all these crazy backgrounds here, but I could mix up some of this and get some little faces happening. Or I could do it with acrylic. Acrylic's even a better idea in this instance because um, I can put watercolour and other things all over it. I don't have to remember what it is, but this is what's happening. Oh, the opacity is just delicious. So we'll have a little bit of an ear happening. 
and eye sockets and then this can just wait um, for when I want to use it another day. Get a darker skin tone that will be good on here or really light it has to be one or the other if it's yeah I think a dark one will look good so let's uh, put a beautiful ears chin neck shoulder and then she's just waiting And the background's already done and oh, it's going to be just too fabulous for words. Now let's do, we'll do a really pale skin tone on this one. So I'm going to mix. This is the countenance and I'm actually going to mix this in. Eye sockets, bottom of nose, where the mouth might be. Neck. This is something you could uh, create. Um, it's going to work well because this the, I know my papers are going to be able to cope with whatever I put on it because I know my papers. Fabulous. Anyway, just in case you're wondering what some little creature what we could do with such a nice little book. Just do some little slapdash faces. And then these will become little people at some point. Some lighter colour down the front. A very nice thing if you're feeling a bit discombobulated and it's just the start of something 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 I'm going to mix these two colors let's what happens if her head is nearly coming off the page see then this could all be about the hair So on and so on. Anyway. Oh, this will be fun. Uh, and once that's dry, what I might do is just give it a little hit with a spray fixative or um, a matte, um, yeah, workable fixative sometimes it's called, or a matte varnish. A workable varnish uh, or cheap hairspray does the same thing just don't have any oils conditioners any of that sort of vitamins any of that sort of business in it because it can stain the paper so we'll bring back out the craziness <laughs> and uh, let me say hello okay um oh that's wonderful evie thank you i'm glad you're looking forward to them and uh I'm sorry about the um, sound going mad before. What a pain for your ears. Sorry about that. I think it's just yeah, better to restart, and which is what we did. And um, Carol says she loves the paints. Just purchased them. Excellent. Thank you. Penny says she's always feeling discombobulated. It's such a great word. Uh, Jenny says, your daily videos might like, help me clear my brain from the chaos in the world. Oh my gosh, so much of it too. And the media, 
all of the media. I like how all the media refer to other media as the mainstream media. Anyway, they all, it's just dire, dire, dire. But there are beautiful things happening everywhere as well. I, I wouldn't count, <laughs> count this as beautiful thing, but I had a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, sometimes I do create beautiful things in a live stream. Just depends what's going down. <sighs> it is fabulously flamboyant. Do you know the weird thing? is eventually this will make complete sense. There, there will be a time when this makes complete sense. And maybe this is me with one eye. <laughs> it's me right now. Dogs barking, me dancing. But this will make complete sense at some point. It's really weird how that does uh, sort of happen over time. Oh, I like her. The gold gesso, the colours. This is all lay cake here as well, going through stencils. This is the collage um, sheets and uh, exact same process. So this is different collage sheets as the rice paper ones. I didn't even pull them out today, but Artvent was a sort of it's about what's happened this year or this art event. Oh, that's some of the collage sheets as well. Oh, there's some of the washies. Here's some of the washi tapes from my collections. Some of the washies. And then they actually all coordinate, not all, but they coordinate uh, with um, the stencils too. Oh, she was cute. So much of what I do is created in live streams. Oh. That must have been from last Christmas. Really? That's Helen, the Christmas fairy. She's just a sensible fairy. Trustworthy, sensible Helen. The Christmas fairy. Oh, there's the queen. Oh, with the king. Mm. When he was a baby. <laughs> yes, the paints and the discs are the layer cake as well. So they're just, it's the same formula. It's just, we worked out we could do it like this. That they will stay in their little sections like so. I mean, I almost have got it to make, stay in a crayon. So you could pick it up and draw with it, but it's not really. Um, it's all, the, the marzipan twists are almost like a cake, but not quite, but almost. Sometimes I do push, it's when, it's when I'm pushing the boundaries for creating new things and I find new things along the way. And sometimes they don't work. Like the, uh, the I love pastel pencils, but only if they're super soft, right? And like that gratification of just, and just killer pastel. So we, I was trying to create the ultimate pastel pencil that's just so, soft and mm, delicious and it just it's too soft and a um, little bit prone to breakage and you can't sharpen it even when you are sharpening it so as a result um, the fluffy white clouds pastel pencil was a failure but as long as you're happy knowing that you have to sharpen it with a blade and that you just have it, it might crack off and you have to just use it as a little bit of a stump sometimes it's free you can just add it into your next time you order something I'm very happy to send you one just so just as long as you know so it, it's a failure as far as see look 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 but then you just pick that up and off you go again this is also is not dry so it's just not going to want to sit on things but oh it's just such a lovely joy so I'm very happy because if you understand you understand and that's fine so you can just add that as a little gift 
but I don't just send it out to you because otherwise you'll be like, why sending me this pencil that breaks all the time? But if you know, that's just part of its magic. But you can just poke it back in there and keep going. Sometimes you can get lucky, but get it on the right angle. But anyway, just to remind you. Okay, my friends, well, thank you. Eventually this will turn into something that it will mean exactly what it's saying. Oh, I have to amputate her legs though. She's got her little legs dangling off. No, she, I'll have to chop them off. What would happen if I folded them up? It would look a bit strange, I think. But I might just fold the washi up and around because that will protect that bottom of the page. And I'll just rip them off. Just rip her off at the knees. Sorry, love. Your legs are coming off. But I'll fold that up there like that. And now that paper is a little bit more protected. There you go. Craziness. <laughs> the book is um, called The Girl. So it's from... 1949 and it's one of those annuals where it's got lots of different stories in it. Dear girls, a good book is something worth having. It's handled properly, it will last a lifetime. I have many books which belong to my parents before they were given to me when I was a child and they're still lovely to look at today. The Editress. I do hope you enjoy reading your book and keep it for many years to come. Oh. Anyway, and then I've, there's videos on, in our group, in the mixed media group, where I did live streams of doing each of the pages, how to prep this. It's also in my workshop called Joinal, where we use vintage books and um, mm, might be in another, because I used vintage books a lot. Uh, those two, but it might be in another workshop as well. I, I try and do different things and everything. Uh, but yes, and then the background of all of them is the collage, uh, the collage, the Joyful Gesso, this stuff. Mm. And these colours are all vintage, uh, not all skin tones are the colour of vintage paper, but lighter skin tones are beige. And it's the colour of vintage paper. I love it. That's all this, look, camouflaged in. So that's, um, you can use the joyful gesso not just as paint, but also as a gesso. And use it to, um, I used to just use these sorts of colours when I was doing vintage books like this. But now I've got all of my different colour gesso, so hence every colour you can imagine. That's um, High Kicks Caramel, which is like a craft paper colour. There's also the Ecstasy Black, blah blah, all these gorgeous colours. And this is the Yellow Laughing Lemon with uh, Tattoo Kink mixed in. And because it's waterproof, that's why it didn't move. So I've still got this little face here, you see? My little there. It's all fun. Okay. Jenny says, this would make a great collage paper. Well, it's made out of collage papers. Imagine a collage paper of collage papers, of other collages. <sighs> Excellent. Hey, Penny, oh, your heart is full, and may you make your art journal just as full. <laughs> uh, yes. So if you want more, I've got tons of videos here on my YouTube. I've got uh, videos on... My Facebook channel, lots of live streams there, and in the mixed media group. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. Everything I uh, showed you in um, uh, the live stream. Oh my gosh, sometimes language eludes me. Uh, Everything is available in, on my website. I love her. That's some tattoo ink. 
everything is available there and she looks like Erica Jane uh, yes it's all fun look at all these gorgeous girls here this is all from the collage paper sets as well and I've got links there if, if you want to look at anything but otherwise just have fun do something crazy in your art uh, <laughs> And I will see you tomorrow. And what is it tomorrow? Art event. <gasps> stencils. Yay. The Halcyon Day stencils are gorgeous. Oh, so just so you know what they are. This is the Halcyon Day's stencils. So there was this girl. We used the, um, this is from the series before. Oh, that's from Stencil Girl. The Botticelli. Um... I've got a Frida one in here that is Stencil Girl as well. This Frida. Oh, so cool. That is from the Halcyon Days, the Star Power one we used the other day. But where are my little girls? Where are the girls? Where's the girls? Oh, well, I better make sure I've got them. It's the four little head turning faces. They're really cool. So I'll make sure I've got them before tomorrow they're just they're lurking around somewhere <laughs> I found them they'd fallen out these girls tilted down to the side I've got two different versions there three quarter and tilted up I love all of them I love using this one because that's quite a little bit of a harder pose and that is true sometimes uh, so anyway that's what we'll be playing with tomorrow. Bye. Have a good Sunday.